First is to wish you all a very warm welcome to Rwanda for those of you who are new to the land of the Thousand Hills. Currently, six of the 17 SDGs have no indicator to monitor progress for women and girls. Of the 54 gender-related indicators, only 24% have data available, and this is since 2010. The SDGs is a platform. It is an opportunity not to be missed. If you miss this, I think it will be very difficult to have this chance again in the future. I'm very proud to say that this UN country team is working the talk by making sure that gender is at the center of the SDGs in this country. Composing the gender machinery, i.e. GMO National Women Council Media Prof, ensure the mainstreaming of gender as a cross-cutting area into national and institutional plans. We provide the technical guidance and ensure the equality of medium and annual plans. This meeting today is very critical and what is going to be discussed in this debate is going to, for, to inform all of us and prove the way we work together, we report, and we fulfill our commitment as countries. Now for each of the groups, you have specific topics you're working on. There is need for us to appreciate that technology is taking a toll on us and each one of us should be able to use it. We collect them because we want to change people's lives, because we want this continent to improve. When uh, you talk about statistics, generally we are talking about numbers. The problem that we don't solve today, just you know, by adding one more day, we would have to exert more energy, more money, more resource because our number, our challenge, our things are perpetuating in everyday basis. I would want you to remember that you are talking about people and you are contributing a very critical part of making lives of people on this planet. The role of UN Women will be uh, to try to come uh, as a broker uh, between the National Statistical Office and also the civil society organizations. But we often always talk about the gaps only, but we don't talk about what can we do about the gaps. I have met very important key stakeholders in the data industry and also in the government and NGOs. I've met, I've met people also from my country who have help me know how I can, how we can take this to another level, how we can take this data generation to another level. Currently we have a, a brand of journalism called data journalism and, and that requires of you to have skills of reading, interpreting and using the data to tell a story. 